guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear, I'm JB. Is undercoating your Tacoma important? Is it a worthy investment? And if you decide to do it, what should you use and how often should you do it? Those answers and more coming up. Before we get into undercoating, let's talk about what's going on here. The Toyota Tacoma. The frame was a big problem for Toyota back in the day. On past models, the frame rusted out really, really bad. It rusted out so badly, you got holes in the frame. And as a result, you saw a lot of warranty work done. Check this out, I happened to stumble across a first gen Tacoma and wouldn't you know it, underneath, it's rusted. Still an awesome truck though. To rectify this issue, Toyota would disassemble the entire truck from the frame, have a new frame shipped to the dealership, and have the truck reassembled around the new frame. What Toyota did on the third generation Tacomas is, is they created a high strength steel version of that old frame. This is an entirely new frame. High strength steel is not just strong steel. It has a specific carbon component that's between 0.25 and 0.5 of 1%. The carbon, when combined with copper, nitrogen, nickel, and even chromium, makes the steel exponentially stronger and rust proof. Hmm. High strength steel is so strong, you can't work on it. You can't get it into shape without it being hot formed and with an immense amount of pressure. These high strength steel frames were expensive, but they were worth it to Toyota. My Tacoma is a 2019 TRD off-road. It sees salty roads, and besides the metal frame, there's lots of other metal components and panels that require some protection. The differential, the shocks, and even the leaf springs. I first undercoated this Tacoma in February of 2019, right after I got it. Then again, before winter in November of 2019. A third time in August of 2020, and here I am in August of 2021, ready to do it again. I like to undercoat my vehicles in the late summer or fall before the flakes start to fly. And as a teacher, I like to do it in August because I usually get super busy once the fall comes around. These coatings generally last one to two years depending on driving conditions. So now you may be asking, JB, what do you undercoat your vehicles with? I prefer to use oil undercoatings. I have used a variety. I used that tar rubberized undercoating way in the past. And here's my tip for that stuff, run. That rubberized undercoating seals moisture in against pre-existing rust. And within a short time, you'll have more rust on your vehicle than when you first started. That black coating will flake off, like you see here and you'll see all the rust forming behind it. Not worth it. Then I used fluid fill. This is lanolin based and is an excellent product to undercoat with. It protects all metals and is long lasting. This coating generally lasts one year depending on driving conditions. Another method that I tried that worked really well was I took this Lucas Oil Marine Grease, then some gloves. I dipped my hand in and hand coated the entire underside of my vehicle. That took for ever, but provided a very durable layer of protection that lasted for years. That stuff was hard to wash off. I used to do all these undercoatings myself, but found it to be very time consuming. Think about it. On average, a vehicle will need about seven to 10 cans to get this job done right. Plus you'll need to put down a tarp and a wind-free space to do it in. Not to mention your clothes will be absolutely destroyed afterwards. This undercoating process would take a couple of hours to get done and cost me about 70 to a hundred dollars. In my local area at some local collision shops, I can get this process done for about $50 to $100. And it's usually done within an hour. Saves me time and a mess. Here is my underbody after all of those undercoatings, right before I get the next coat applied. You can see that I have a nice barrier built up here. It's almost all black under here. It's a little dirty looking, but you can see underneath that the frame is in great shape underneath. That's a pretty thick coating. Not many rust spots in sight. One spot here on the exhaust, one little spot right here, and some tiny spots by the brakes. They tend to spray lightly by the wheels so you don't get any oil on your brakes. I can always touch those areas up if I need to. Two to three year old vehicles in Buffalo are generally all brownish orange underneath from rust. Nowadays with my Tacoma, I take it to a collision shop where they use an oil underspray. The shop I went to uses Crown. Crown is petroleum based and contains no solvents. Oil undercoatings in general penetrate tight seams and spot welds delivering much more effective protection. They also lubricate your chassis and prevent wear. Crown does just that. If you search oil undercoating for your local area, you could probably find a bunch of places that do it and that are reasonably priced. I took my Tacoma to Angie's Collision in Buffalo, New York. They did an excellent job undercoating my truck and took the time to make sure that every square inch was covered. They even coated those hard to reach spots in the frame. If you are in the Western New York area, be sure to check them out for undercoating and all your collision repairs. Here is what my truck looks like afterwards. All oiled up, every square inch is covered. 
They put on a nice thick layer. Everything is coated except the parts that get hot like your exhaust. If they do get some on there, it will burn off after a few days. I'm really happy with how this turned out and I'm fully confident that my truck will survive another Buffalo winter. Here's a couple oil undercoating application tips for you. The day before you go, rinse out the underbody. A simple hose spray underneath will do just fine. This will allow for a better application and get rid of any road debris. For the next tip, there will be drips. If it's hot outside, there will be more. Park your vehicle out in the street so that way you don't get any of that oil on your driveway. If you do get some on your driveway, it will come off eventually, but it will take a very long time. Sometimes pressure washing doesn't even take it off. Garage Gale might be a little upset about this. It's okay, I get her Jeep undercoated too. Tip number three, there will be a fine mist all over your vehicle once you get it applied. Be sure to wash your vehicle immediately after it's applied. Do not use an undercarriage spray at the car wash though. And lastly, if your vehicle is going in for any kind of service work, be kind to your mechanics. Let them know ahead of time that your vehicle has been undercoated, so that way they don't ruin their clothes. I don't know what it is about undercoating, but I get oddly hyped up about it. My dad always used to say that when you apply an undercoat, you add two to three years of life to the vehicle. And you know what? He's right. Every vehicle I've ever owned has gotten undercoated, and each one had a significantly higher resale value. Next time you trade in your vehicle, if you had it undercoated, mention that. I guarantee you, you'll see more money back on your trade. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's how I undercoat my Tacoma and protect my investment. Be sure to check out all the products available to undercoat your vehicle down in the description below. And don't just stop at one, check out more cool garage gear videos. More rust proofing videos coming soon, where I tackle the doors, the tailgate, and other spots around the Tacoma. Be sure to follow me further at Garage Gear JB on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, give me one of these. And remember, if you're feeling the vibe, and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe so that way you can stay up to date with everything going on here at Garage Gear. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage. <laughs>